so dear students today i am going to teach you the first lesson of your chemistry part that is fiber to fabric now this is a chapter little bit already you have read in your previous class that is in class 6 now in class 6 what you have read in this chapter in this chapter you have read about what is a fiber what is a fabric how a fabric is made from the fiber and little bit you have read about what you have read about the plant fibers so in this class that is in class 7 what you will read you will read in details about the obtaining and processing of the animal fiber basically two about two animal fibers we will read in this chapter that is wool and silk that is how the wool is obtained and processed and how the silk is obtained and processed so today what i'll discuss today i'll discuss about the processing of wool so before i start about the processing of wool first of all you have to know what is a fiber what is a fiber as you can see in the slide natural fibers are thread obtained from what obtained from plants and animals right in class 6 what you have read in class 6 you have read about the processing of uh, the plant fibers like cotton flax jutes and all isn't it now in this class you will read about two major animal fiber that is what that is wool and silk so what is an wool wool is a soft wavy hair which covers the body of sheep basically wool is a fiber which is mostly obtained from sheep other than sheep it is also obtained from what it is also obtained from goat that is mountaineous goat yak camel llama and alpaca right so wool what is wool wool is a modified form of hair that grows with a waviness okay and because of the waviness of wool the woolen fabrics it has got a greater bulk as you all have seen the woolen fabric that we wear during the winter season it keeps us warm okay and what happens since it has a greater bulk hence it can trap more air and what is the scientific reason behind this that why the woolen fabric keeps us warm now since as i said you that air are being trapped inside what inside the wool and as we all know that air is what air is a poor conductor of heat so what happens the air trapped in the wool or hair of this animals it prevents their body heat from being lost to cold surroundings and thus keeps them warm during the winter okay that is why what happens generally this hair or wool of this animal is removed only once in a year at the beginning of the summer season because in summer season they don't need to keep themselves warm so what happens before the onset of winter season again the new hair comes and it keeps them warm now sheep wool it grows on their body and once in a year as i said you this wool is cut off okay so other than sheep what are the other animals already i have said goat yak camel llama and alpaca okay now mostly the wool that we wear it is uh, generally obtained from sheep and now the hairy skin of sheep it has got two fibers from that the fleece or wool is obtained what are the two types of fiber one is a coarse bird hair and another is a fine soft hair now what happens the fine hair it provides the fibers for making wool now some breeds of sheep possesses only fine under hair okay now their parent sheep are specially chosen so as to give birth to sheep which have only soft under hair okay now here you will come to know about a special process that is what that is selective breeding now what is selective breeding as you can see in the slide the definition is given the process of selecting parent sheep for obtaining special characteristics in their offspring is called what is called selective breeding okay now what is that as i said you that wool generally sheep it grows two types of hair the coarse bird hair and fine soft hair now there are few species of sheep that grows what that grows coarse bird hair and few species of sheep are there those who grow mostly the fine soft under hair okay now selective breeding is done so that what happens a specific the specific characteristic for example if you want a fine soft hair 
mostly then what you have to choose either of the parent should have this characteristic of fine soft under hair so this special selection of the parent for obtaining the special characteristic in their offspring is known as what is known as selective breeding right now the natural color of the wool is generally what it is generally creamy white okay although some of the breeds of the sheep they produce wool having what brown or black in color but mostly that wool which are obtained in the market they are of various colors and what happens they are actually dyed that means they are colored artificially they are colored okay now next thing is what next thing is the rearing of sheep now what is the rearing of sheep rearing of sheep means to look after the sheep by providing them food shelter and proper health care now the person who looks after the sheep are called what are called shepherds as you all know who all are shepherds right now sheep what are their food habits sheep are basically they are herbivores and they prefer to eat what they prefer to eat grass and leaves okay so apart from grass and leaves sheep they are also fed with mixture of pulses corn jowar oil cakes what is oil cake oil cake it is a material left after the extraction of oil from oil seed that means basically the seed coat it is compressed and pressed to form what to form oil seed and it is a good food for the grazing animals right now in winter during winter sheep they are kept indoors and fed on leaves grains and dry fodders okay now how next the most important thing of this chapter is what how wool is obtained from sheep now as you can see over here six steps are there six steps what are the six steps shearing scouring sorting dyeing combing and spinning now we will discuss each of this process in details now let's start with shearing what is shearing the process of removing hair from the body of sheep in the form of fleece is called what is called shearing now how this is removed the hair of the sheep are cut off by using what a cutting machine it is and it is similar to that used by the barbers right now what is the most interesting thing now one thing they have to keep in their mind is that the hairy skin of this sheep it is removed in one piece that means in one method only they have to cut so that a long piece can be obtained right now while this uh, shearing process the sheep they do not get hurt why because the uppermost layer of the skin of the sheep is what it is dead okay unlike like suppose we people if we shave do we feel hurt no because the upper layer of the skin what happens it is dead right now when this shearing is done the shearing of sheep is done in the hot weather of a summer why so that the sheep may survive without their protective coat of hair as already i have said earlier right now the next process means after shearing the fleece are then it is ready for what it is ready for scouring okay scouring is what scouring means basically it is a cleaning process of cleaning what is scouring the process of washing the fleece that removes dust dirt dried sweat and grease it is called what it is called scouring right the fleece of the sheep it is thoroughly cleaned by washing with soap or detergent and a lot of water in a tank continuously to remove all this dust particles right now it makes what it makes the fleece of a sheep clean okay and then after cleaning it is dried okay now next the third step third step is what third step is sorting now why sorting is done sorting as you all know what is the meaning of this term sorting sorting means dividing dividing on the basis of their characteristic now why this sorting is done basically this wool it is not uniform in all the parts of a sheep okay now some parts of the fleece they have got fine wool fibers as i have already said now some part it has got what it has got coarse wool fibers right some parts of the fleece they have got long wool fibers whereas some part it has got short wool fibers okay so it is what it is generally it is mixed up okay now these things they have to separate okay now in sorting what happens the fleece it is sent to the factory where it is broken and separated into sections of different quality fibers right 
now every section of the wool obtained after sorting contains the same quality of wool that means uniform quality of wool that means few quality of wool it is only consist of that a uh, short fine hair few qualities of wools are there that contains only the coarse and bird hair okay like this okay now the next process is what next process is dyeing as i have said you what is the natural color of the wool the natural color of the wool is either what either black white or brown okay so this white woolen fibers they are obtained and they are sorted and they can be dyed into different colors by using what by using artificial colors next one is what next one is combing okay what is combing combing it is a method to prepare woolen fiber for spinning the yarn as you all know what is the step for making uh, fabric from fiber the first step is obtaining fiber next step is the processing of yarn and from yarn what happens the fibers or uh, sorry the fabrics are either weaved or knitted as you have read in classics right now combing what is as i have already said you it is a method to prepare what uh, to prepare the woolen fiber for spinning the yarn now this is done actually by using a comb the comb that we use for uh, brushing our uh, sorry the comb which is used for combing our hair it looks almost like that but it contains what it contains metal teeth right now the process of combing it straightens the entangled woolen uh, fiber and also it removes what it removes the small fluffy fibers which may caught in them okay next is what next the final step is what final uh, step is spinning now what is spinning the long woolen fibers are spun okay or twisted it into the thick yarn called what called wool okay now next this yarn of wool it is used for what it is used for knitting sweaters and other woolen garments right the short woolen fibers they are spun into the fine yarn and then woven onto the loom to make what to make the woolen clothes like shawl pashmina shawls shawls shocks etc right so from this discussion okay what we can conclude that sheep hair is sheared off from the body then it is scoured that means it is washed then sorted that means it is divided according to the characteristic then it is dyed that means applied colors combed and spun to obtain wool and then woolen yarn for making the woolen cloth right and the quality of the woolen cloth what happens it depends on the breed of the sheep from which the wool is obtained okay so this is all about the processing of what processing of producing woolen yarn right now one more thing that i have to explain you that is occupational hazard occupational hazard what is occupational hazard now see wool industry it is an important source of livelihood for many people in our country especially in the northern part of our country right now the people those who do the job of sorting the fleece of the ship into fibers okay they are known as what they are known as sorters okay those who perform that job now what happens now these uh, sorters job it is very risky right why because sometimes they get infected by a bacteria known as what known as bacillus anthracis the name of the bacteria is called bacillus anthracis and it causes a dreadful disease bloody disease that means a kind of disease which occurs in the blood is known as what is known as anthrax right so basically this bacillus anthracis it remains into the hair of the ship right so basically when the people the sorters those who sort that means those who divide the things according to their characteristic they have got a high chance of getting infected by this bacteria right so the risk faced by the people working in any industry due to the nature of the work are known as what known as occupational hazard and these sorters disease or the anthrax this is the occupational hazard for the sorters so today up to this in my next class i'll discuss about another animal fiber silk thank you students